I'm here with James Kimry of National Instruments. And James, we were talking a little bit earlier about, you said that there was somewhat of an arms race going on for uh, you know, the standardization of 5G. Right, so I think uh, any company that's, that's in the wireless industry, they're incentivized to be the first with new ideas and, and prototyping those and, and showing those to the, to the industry that they're, those, those ideas are more valuable. Uh, or can be valuable. So it's, it's a sort of an arms race where you know company X wants to be the first to prove a, a particular technology and the, and the way to prove that is through prototyping. Actually when they have an idea, uh, if they can prototype the idea fast or faster than their competition, then, the, then they are the leaders and then they can uh, go and work with the standardization bodies and drive those ideas through standardization. And you were doing a demonstration with uh GFDM, correct? That's correct. Uh, and kind of comparing it to OFDM. That's right. And so you said that there's like GFDM and like five others are competing. Can you just tell me a little bit about those? Yeah, so let's talk about physical layer uh, waveforms, new waveforms for 5G as opposed uh, to what's there in 4G. So in, in 4G, the standard is OFDM, more orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. And so the research for 5G is looking at new waveforms basically to address some of the deficiencies of OFDM, such as you know high peak to hour, average ratio and uh, um, higher side lobes, which can, can limit your spectrum. So GFDM is a, is a new technique, a new waveform that builds on the OFDM concept and addresses the issue of uh, out-of-band out of spectrum uh, spectral leakage as well as the high peak to average ratio. And so the demonstration you saw was with our new LabVIEW Communications System Design Suite, you know, using our LTE application framework and adding the GFDM component to that. So what better way to do 5G research than start with 4G, right? Definitely, and, and it definitely made a difference in the video, I could tell. Um, so Maybe can you just tell me a little bit about some of the other ones that are competing with GFDM? Right. There's, uh, there's several others. There's uh, UFMC or Universal Filter uh, Multi-Carrier, which, uh, which is a similar technique to GFDM. There's uh, uh, multi, Multi-Carrier multi Filter Bank. That's another one. And then um, different companies, different uh, institutions are, are promoting, uh, promoting these. And so, uh, to the best of my knowledge, this GFDM uh, demonstration that we have here is the first one that actually is real time and showing results. So that, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, yeah. And so, I mean, do you see one of them winning out the, over the others? Well, you know, uh, that's a really good question. Uh, behind us, you'll see uh, demonstrations for millimeter wave and massive MIMO, and those are other uh, techniques that could be used for, for uh, 5G. And I, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of great ideas for 5G, and I think what you'll see is some of the best ideas will can be combined um, with other ideas over time. Yeah. And so you'll say GFDM might be working with massive MIMO, which will ultimately may be working with millimeter wave. Yeah, to provide, to provide the solutions yeah. that need to happen. So. But I think uh, you know going back to the first question, the company that's there first with a prototype where it actually can demonstrate, that's where. Uh, the benefit is uh, for them to be able to prototype faster and prove that. That's going to launch the 5G, huh? I hope so. I hope so. We all hope so. <laughs>